You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Well, no, I was being generous, but you're not beyond hope. I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds, thousands, and they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we wield. It's just a tool. It's people that are good or evil. And even they can be a little bit, um... I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. <sighs> Sorry. Lose a follower or two, and I might consider it. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? I question the wisdom of that decision, but I'll be here in the meantime. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling, lead God's soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a bile sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! catching myself smart if you're sure fine
Well met. Well met. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Always a... Do you expect? I doubt she's a... She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. We're... Ready for you. <sighs> no time to rest. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. Well, my day just improved. All right, so... I am ready. Keep your distance, darling.
I've got a long road ahead. How delicious. A long way to go still. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. So, Astarian, which of us would you rather feed on if he had free reign? Ah, Will, no question. He's strong, fast, and righteous. I'm salivating already. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, you sound disappointed. I'll bite you if you ask. I'm sure you would. Don't sound so eager. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. A 
How's the barricade coming along? Uh, it ain't pretty, but it can take a beating. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. You? What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I'll be here if you need anything else. One. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing.
Sham Sham rules. Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. My favorite kind, ambition. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry, I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. A blushing apple begging to be plucked? Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Need something? back there? If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Bolter's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. Oh, 
I kind of believe him more now than I did a minute ago. Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Her smile is broad, her eyes twinkling, her face the very picture of innocence. She's clearly lying. But I haven't accepted nothing yet. Sounds like you're in deeper than I am. When we get there, I'd be head of the Thieves' Guild. Easy for you to say. You can do what you want, go where you want. My kids need protecting, and I'm gonna protect them. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. A paralyzing agent? I do not think we're quite so far gone... yet. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? But a river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadrick Thorm. 
Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Not immediately. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm. Just be sure it doesn't make you leap before you look. Infiltrate the towers, and Catherick's downfall begins. What's more, you'll find the cure for that thing in your head. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you.
Let's have a look at myself. I wonder what the next move is. I didn't realize I had an audience. And a Sharon one at that. At your service. Frankly, I'm surprised you're willing to help us. Your kind aren't known for their decency, particularly when a Sharon curse is our greatest obstacle. But if you are who I think you are, I'd be a fool to reject your help. The true soul with, well, a soul. Imagine. I suppose that would be wise. We have a common enemy after all. Ketherick Thorm. You'll be needing the protection spell, I presume. Refreshingly pragmatic of you. I sense Shah has offered some amount of protection to you already, but... Well, no harm in extra precaution. Even from a Salunite. This will block the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, allowing you to traverse the darkness outside. But there are places it won't help. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. Curious. Surely the Night Singer could have shielded all her followers and made this place her domain long ago. Yet she only acts now and aids you alone. I wonder why. I suppose Shah is nothing if not mysterious. I'll stop needling you, though. You have more important things to do, after all. Good luck, and may the Moon Maiden protect you. If you can stand it. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. It would be your doom, and mine. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive.
haunting face swims into your mind's eye, its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Excellent fertilizer. <laughs>
penance will be paid now. Isabel! 
No! What in the nine hells happened? I see little more than a cowardly deception at play. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorn. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark, something stirs. happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Still your hearts and steady your hands to battle! Two steps at a time. So 
will not win this day. Where do you think you're going? <laughs>